Hi, Ralph Miller here. Did you ever wonder what's inside of a computer 19-inch screen? Well, here's the panel with all the electronics removed. Let's take a look inside and see what's really in there. All right, we have to bend back these metal retainers here all the way around. All right, let's pull this ring off of here. There, one step closer. Looks like there's another layer that has to come off. Okay, let's see what we have now. Ah, this front panel comes off. That's the liquid crystal unit. Set that aside. And here we're left with the light panel. Now the fun part, to dissect this and see what really lights this up from behind. Okay, here comes another layer. We have this nice frosted piece here. Below that is this almost reflective material. Almost like aluminum. Looks like it's made out of mylar. It's semi-transparent. And then there's this glass... Uh, oh, here's another one. Ah. Looks like I'm going to have to dig deeper. Okay, let's take a look. This back panel comes off. And that reveals a very thick piece of plexiglass. Uh, now, in behind it, there's another white piece of plastic material. And then there's this clear piece of thick plastic. I would say that that's a quarter of an inch thick, at least. And it has like a diamond pattern in it. I don't know if you can see that. But there's definitely pattern there. And I always thought there was a big fluorescent tube behind here. But the reality is there's two really thin, long fluorescent tubes. One on the bottom and one on the top. Down inside of these, these little trenches here, each of these tubes is Wait a minute. It looks like there's two tubes. There's four tubes. Two next to each other here. Two next to each other here. Now here's a close-up of those tubes. You can see that. And they're definitely two tubes next to each other. And they are four sets of wires, four wires, so they are independently powered, each one. And these are very skinny. I'd say they're a sixteenth of an inch in diameter at the most. So the light shines in from this direction and is diffused many times before it reaches the screen. Very interesting. Well, now we know how it's done. And by the way, if one of these burns out, it's not serviceable. It's just a module that you would have to replace. And odds are it's cheaper to just go out and buy a new 19-inch monitor. Well, there you go. See you next time.